Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We're back with another video. Now in this video guys, I decided to do something completely different and something out of the box. Usually I talk about Inter Milan or Atlanta United when it comes to soccer talk. But tonight I've decided to talk about the Premier League because yesterday was the biggest game in the Premier League title going down to the wire and that is Manchester City versus Liverpool which ended up in being a 2-2 draw. As you guys can currently see on screen right now, the title race is between two teams and it's down to one point. And I've gotten each of their next few games and we're going to take a look at who has the hardest schedule when it comes to the Premier League and who I think will finish where. And then we'll also take a look at the bottom of the table because things are getting interesting. Everton on 28 points, Burnley on 24, Watford on 22 Norwich on 21. All these teams, technically, if if Norwich went out, if Norwich were to win the last seven games, they would pick up 21 points, which means they would finish on 42 points, and they would finish ninth place. But I highly doubt that's going to happen considering their win-loss record. But let's get into the champions right now, currently, Manchester City. Manchester City's remaining games are going to be Brian Hove Albion away. Sorry, Brian Hove Albion at home. Watford at home, Leeds away, Newcastle at home, West Ham United away, Aston Villa at home, and Wolves at home. Now, if I had to say, when it came to how many points I think they're going to pick up when it comes to all of the games, well, I think they'll beat Brian Hove Albion, I think they'll beat Watford, I think they'll draw against Leeds, I think, yeah, I think they'll draw against Leeds, I think they'll beat Newcastle, I think they'll draw against... Um, West Ham United. I think they'll lose against Villa, and I think they'll draw against Wolves, which means that in the remaining, what, seven games for Manchester City, considering they're on 31 points, Manchester City would pick up 9, 12. Man City would pick up 12 points on the way to their Premier League, Premier League title events, which means they would finish on 86 points throughout the season. 86 points would be Manchester City for the remaining games. Liverpool remaining games, they have Manchester United, well, yeah, Manchester United, then they have Everton, Newcastle, Spurs, Villa, Wolves, and Southampton. They're going to draw against Manchester United, they're going to win against Everton, they're going to win against Newcastle, they're going to draw against Spurs, they're going to win against Villa, they're going to lose against Wolves, and then they're going to win against Southampton. Which means, in total, for their points, they would need to pick up 13 points in order to beat Manchester City to the title. So, what? how many points did they pick up? That's four wins. I think they're going to pick up four wins. And this would give Liverpool the Premier League title because they would pick up, in total, 14 points. Giving them a total, give me them a total of 80 87 points. 87 points to win Liverpool the Premier League title for their second time in the past couple of years. And this would be a very good way for Liverpool to win the title, beating Man City on what would be, I think, one point. Or do I have this right? Hold on. 2, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, four, yeah 14. I have that right. So wait, I did the Man City one wrong. Because, no, I have it right. Liverpool will win the title by one point. So, Liverpool are going to be the cha In terms of what I think is going to be prediction, Liverpool are going to be the champions of the Premier League. Now, moving on into Chelsea. Chelsea's remaining games are Arsenal, West Ham United, Everton, Wolves, Leeds, Leicester, Watford, Manchester United, which is to be determined on when they're going to face them. Same goes with the Wolves game for City. So Chelsea, with the way Arsenal's been performing, they're gonna win against they're gonna win against Arsenal. They're gonna win against West Ham. They're gonna surprisingly draw against Everton. They're gonna lose against Wolves. They're gonna draw against Leeds. They're gonna draw against Leicester City. They're gonna beat Watford, and they're they're gonna draw against Manchester United. So in terms of their amount of points that they would pick up, they would pick up nine plus twelve, thirteen points. And that would leave Chelsea on 75 points for the remainder of the season. 
as currently right now they are in third place. Moving on into the fourth place team, we have Tottenham Hotspur, who are going to play Brian Hove Albion, Brentford, Leicester City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Burnley, and Norwich. Now, considering I already gave them the draw against Liverpool, they already picked up one point. They are currently right now five points behind Chelsea. In order for them to beat Chelsea to third place, they would have to get 80 points. They would have to get, sorry, yeah, they would have to get 80 points. And they're going to win against Brighton. They're going to draw against Brentford. They're going to draw against Leicester. They're going to draw against Arsenal. They're going to win against Burnley, and they're going to win against Norwich. Which means they actually pick up a pretty good amount of points because they did not suffer one loss. I don't think they're going to suffer a loss. If anything, the loss is probably going to come to, I think, a team like Leicester. But I'm going to get them the benefit of the doubt and give them a draw. So that is 3, 4, and 4 plus 9 is 13 points. And that would leave them on 70 points, which would give Chelsea third place. Now is the moment of truth. Arsenal Football Club. Well, the first game they actually have coming up is against Southampton. Then they play Chelsea, Manchester United, West Ham, Leeds, Spurs, Newcastle, and Everton. I just said I get them the draw against Spurs, so they've already picked up one point. They are currently three points right now on screen behind Tottenham, but they have a minus 10 goal difference. And look at their record. Look at the last five games. They won, lost, won, and their last two games have been lost. So they've been on a bad streak the past two games in terms of the Premier League. And when it comes to the Southampton game, they're going to win. The Chelsea game already said that they're going to lose. They're going to draw against Manchester United. I think they're going to beat West Ham. They're going to beat Leeds. They're going to beat Newcastle. And then they'll draw against Everton, which we give Arsenal... Arsenal right now, if they get anything, if they get 17 points, they beat Tottenham Hotspur, which would please Arsenal fans and please my father because my father is an Arsenal fan. So that would be 3, 6, 9, 12, ooh, 13, 14, 15 points, and that would leave Arsenal on 69 points, one point away from uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Now we move on into West Ham United. West Ham, I already gave them, I gave them the the loss against Chelsea. I gave them the law against loss against Arsenal, right? Draw against City. I had Arsenal being West Ham, right? Yep. And that leads what three games: Burnley, Chelsea, Arsenal, Norwich City, and Brian Hole Albion. Well, I think they'll actually, I think West Ham is actually going to, like, drop off. I feel like they're going to draw against Burnley, they're going to win against Norwich, and then they're going to lose against Brian Albion on the last day. So that would give West Ham a total of, ooh, that would not be a good amount of points for the last six games for West Ham. That would give West Ham a total of five points. And West Ham are currently 51 points right now, so they would leave on 56 points. So, Manchester United, the team that's tied with them in 7th place, who are hoping to get European football, or possibly even get Champions League. But right now, Manchester United would need to pick up 19 points to at least, or at least, sorry, sorry, 18 points in order to pass Arsenal for 4th place. And the Liverpool game, I said it was going to be a draw. The Arsenal game, I said it was going to be a draw. And the Chelsea game... Which is yet to be determined. Oh, I said the Chelsea game was going to be a draw. So right now, Manchester United have picked up three points. Three points. They need 15 points in order to get fourth place. Lucky for them, they face Liverpool, Norwich, Arsenal, Brentford, Brighton, Palace, and Chelsea. That is probably the one of the easiest stretch of games for Manchester United going to this. They're going to win against Norwich. They're going to win against Brent- Brentford. They're going to draw against Palace, and they're going to win against Brighton. So I don't think Manchester United is going to lose a single game for the rest of the season, even though their their last five games has been a draw, loss, win, draw, loss. Well, what does that mean? The Norwich game, this would mean that Manchester United have seven games left to be played. 
the maximum amount of points that they can pick up throughout the remaining games is 21 points. All I said was then that they needed 18 points in order to pass Arsenal and tie Tottenham. Do they get that 18 points? They pick up three wins. That's nine points. But they pick up four draws. The nine wins and four draws would pick them up to 13 points, leaving them on 64 points, which means a new table at the end of the Premier League, the way I'm thinking this is going, which means Liverpool will win the Premier League, Man City would finish second in the Premier League, Chelsea would finish third in the Premier League, Spurs, who are currently right now, would finish fourth, just by one point. Arsenal would get fifth, just missing on Champions League. And I think I think the last result that they had is going to really cost them. Sixth place would be Manchester United. And I feel like if Arsenal were to get back into European football, that would be a very good thing, whether it's Champions League or European football. And seventh place would be West Ham United. So, and the points would be 87 for Liverpool, 86 for Man City, 75 for Chelsea, 70 for Spurs, 69 for Arsenal, 64 for Manchester United, and 56 for West Ham United. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the table before we end this video. The bottom of the table currently sits. Brian O'Valvian's on 37 points. Brian O'Valvian can still get relegated. And the worst, the team that's actually been on the poorest run of form so far in the bottom half of the table is Austin Villa. Austin Villa have been on a four-game losing streak. And their next game is against Leicester City. But if you really had to look at this table for me, Norwich City is, always, is already going to go down. Norwich is going down. And I think Watford, sadly, are going to go down too. It's between, South, it's between Newcastle to Burnley. Who gets relegated? Newcastle have been on a pick a, a good run of form the past couple of weeks besides what their form has said, win, loss, loss, win. The team that actually has been picking up form is Leeds United because they've gotten a loss, win, win, draw, win. And then Everton have kind of had a better form than Newcastle, but the same kind of form as Newcastle. So if you ask me who I think is going to finish where in terms of the bottom of the table, um, I'd probably give Leeds 15. Newcastle, 17th, Everton, 16th, and I think Burnley will finally get relegated, and this means that their coach, who's been with them for so long, Sean Dyche, can go to a new club, and I think Everton or Everton would probably be a perfect job for him, considering I think, um, what's his name, is probably going to get fired, I think it's Lampard coaching at, at Everton, but if, if you want defensive, if you want defensive guys and you want to not concede that many goals, I mean, Burnley have conceded, what, 19 goals? And the most con the most goals conceded is Norwich in 43. Then it's Watford. Leeds have conceded more goals than Everton, and so has Newcastle. Burnley has only conceded 19 along with Everton. But yes, the three teams I see getting relegated are the three current bottom teams right now, which is Burnley, Watford, and Norwich. And when it comes to the top of the table, I think Liverpool will be the champions of the Premier League Man City second, Chelsea third, Arsenal finish, Arsenal, sorry, Spurs finishing fourth, Arsenal fifth, Manchester United sixth, West Ham seventh, and that is it for my Premier League end of the season predictions for the final six, seven to eight games of the Premier League. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later.